Now, welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Another Swiss 001 video. In today's video, we are b above the airport of Geneva, and um, we've got a very interesting plane on the runway. Yes, everybody. Can you already tell what it is? Of course, the Airbus A220 here. Yeah, just a few days ago, this very popular mobile flight simulator uh, released this update here three days ago. You know, where they, as you can see right here, brought the A220 into the simulator. Yeah, let's do a little bit of <clears throat> reviewing of this aeroplane. Is it realistic? Has it it made the flight simulator better. For that one, let's just hop into the cockpit. This looks nice. Yes, everybody, the Airbus A220 in general. I really like this aeroplane. The thing is, though, I've never really been able to talk about it very properly on the channel just yet because there is actually no proper flight simulator model out for it in any simulator. I mean, there's one okay one in FSX, but Let's just not play FSX in 2021. I'm serious right now, okay? Yeah, but X-Plane doesn't have it. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 doesn't very much have it. But Infinite Flight Simulator on the iPad now does. And, well, cockpit looks all right. Of course, it's not usable, though. That's sad. I mean, that would be very funny, you know, kind of Inception style, operating the touchscreen of my iPad to operate the touchscreen on this plane. Yes, of course, this plane, that was actually released in 2016. Of course, also introduced with Swiss Airlines. Yeah, I mean, this, I like this plane very much, <clears throat> even though it has a very interesting story. But first of all, let's take off. Yes, here we go. A little bit of a reviewing. What I can hear, especially, is that the sound design is just the regular Infinite Flight Simulator sound. If anyone has ever played it, all planes let sound like that, kind of the it's a pointing here. Let's put the flaps. Oh, the flaps also sound the same. No flaps ever on the A220, I would guess, has never sounded like that. Here we go. Yep, we've just taken off out of this Geneva airport here in Switzerland, indeed. As you can see, they have recently added 3D buildings to it as well. You know, over the previous updates, they've been adding, you know, 3D sceneries and 3D objects to certain airports. This one has got some 3D buildings as well, which actually does... You know what? I do have to say, the 3D buildings look alright. Even though it would be nice, of course, to see it around this city as well. Because that's... Scenery looks like doesn't look too good. But anyway, what does really look good here is definitely this A220. Let's hop into the cockpit again. Now, of course, now, you know, this has been a thing for a few years. We have got, you know, nice live cockpit here. All the instruments work here. You can see the heading indicators, even the yeah, engine indicators work very nicely. That is all good. The beautiful big glass instruments of the Zero Plane, man. And uh, we've got a first officer drawn in. I'm never really a fan of having, you know, pilots drawn into flight simulator cockpits because it's like pretty much always just scary in it. Let's maybe do uh, <clears throat> some further test flying, maybe some landings. For that one, let's maybe try to find some more 3D airports, which are always, you know, marked here with this 3D thing, quite obviously. Hmm. Ooh, this sounds interesting. I mean, you know, they recently added, you know, some more interesting airports to the sim. For example, uh, you know, this uh, Lukla airport as well and the... <clears throat> Nepal Mountains wasn't too good actually. I was a little bit disappointed by it. But anyway, let's go ahead and you know how about we hit Australia here? We've got Elise Springs Airport. Oh yeah. Alright, yes, everybody. Welcome to the Australian Desert. This does actually now look quite nice. Now, yes, again, I really like this aeroplane, this A220. It's very special of a plane. I mean, the, the name itself, it's called, you know, A220, which is like the first aircraft from Airbus that's not called something with three. And also, its history is quite interesting. Of course, as you might know, this is also called the Bombardier C-Series. It's It was just rebranded as an Airbus plane, I guess, to boost sales which is interesting uh but yeah the plane is also with i mean as nice as it is it had some issues <laughs> especially with engines i think in 2019 there were four engine shutdowns mid-flight where the pilots had to do an emergency landing which was the cause of the plane actually being grounded for a few good months depending on the airline or at least restricted in its flying i talked to an a220 pilots like a year ago and he talked a little bit about the restriction that uh, they had for example they couldn't exceed like like a 25,000 feet or 20,000 feet depending again on the airline which uh is interesting. I mean, just imagine this multi-million 2016 Canadian airplane, which doesn't have engines that work properly. By the way, talking about not working, I'm really bad at landing here on mobile. It's quite a bit of a different thing. It's another thing that I don't like about mobile flying. It's just that well, I just suck here. Come on, come on, uh, full power here into the brakes. This is one of the shorter runways that actually feature 3D, and um, we're dying. 
great. But no, really, this <clears throat> plane had some engine shutdown issues, which, <clears throat> as it turned out, was a software failure. Yes, there was a bit of a software bug that was very quickly fixed on all the airplanes, I think, so far. And it was just an issue with the FADEX system, which I think is quite interesting. I mean, we had the same thing on the 737 MAX, which made it crash. Like, also a software issue. These planes have become so computerized and automized that <laughs> there's literal bugs in the software, which potentially can damage lives. I mean, no one on board an A220 has ever died, I guess, maybe due to a heart attack, but it's never crashed, though. So this is... This looks like quite nice, even though this is a little bit of an underwhelming 3D airport. I mean, how long did this take to model? I mean, I'm not judging. I'm, I don't know how to model this kind of thing, but couldn't you like build like an AI thing that would like, you know, put, you know, 3D objects to every airport around the planet? Because there's like literally 30,000 airports on the planet. I don't, I don't want to know how long it will take to update 3D to all of them. Great. But yeah, anyways, maybe visit the home of the A220. London City, or at least you know of the, of the Swiss A220. This is what London looks like. It looks like I don't know, pixelated something. The scenery isn't all too good, but it, look at the cockpit. It's, it, it, that's actually nice. You know what? That's fine. Mm, nicely, I think. Yeah. Well, that's not been very good of a landing. Sorry. All right, there we go. We've landed though. Let's maybe go and stop right here. 60 knots. Yeah, as you can see, the performance of this aeroplane really isn't all too bad. Maybe we can even do some runway testing. All right, let me see this here. Oh. Never mind on that one. But you know what? Let's go ahead and actually visit this Lukla airport here with the infamous 3D buildings. Oh god. Alright, come on, land. Uh, okay. Oh god, this has been a bad landing. Come on, to stop. Full power into the brakes. We need you to stop now, aeroplane. That's been a very bad landing. It has not worked. Let me see if a takeoff at least works. Yeah, okay. I think we've stretched the limits of this aeroplane. I, I st I'm not, I still not quite sure about this airport. I mean, have you guys ever seen pictures of what it looks like in real life? It doesn't look like at all <laughs> with that like that. Anyway. Come on, let's check this out, come on. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, that's been particularly bad. Even though this plane does have a pretty slow stall speed, so I think this, yeah, this has been well survivable still. Good. So yeah, how do we simulate a proper A220 flight? I guess turning off the engines, or at least one of them. Yeah, systems. Captain table. Oh, damn. Here we go, the right engine has died, so that's good. Let's maybe proceed to have the left engine die as well. Yeah, there are not particularly any, like, failures built into the simulator, so an engine fire or anything cannot really work. So, yeah, it's just a normal A220 flight. So, what are we supposed to do now? Pretty much die, because there's, like, no airport around here. Good. Come on. Land! Damn. Bit of an emergency. Oh, that's not going very well. Sorry. I tried to make this actually smooth. But yeah, it's just another infinite flight update here. Just a new airplane. It's nothing that changes the world. They still haven't worked on, you know, making the buttons clickable or anything. But other than that, it's, this is actually, of course, the best um, looking airplane model of the A220 that we have ever had in the flight simulator ever. So that's, uh, I guess, nice. So yeah, guys, um, thank you guys for watching today's video. Interesting mobile flight simulator. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, Producers are One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.